We uh, carry the game live here on AM 1150 from Nanaimo. Okanagan Sun, Vancouver Island Raiders, Raiders defending national champions. And for a while, I thought the guys had it together, and I thought that defying all odds, the Okanagan Sun were going to come home victorious. And for a while, I'm sure that head coach Pete McCall thought his boys had her done as well. He joins me on the line this morning. Pete McCall, good morning to you. Good morning, Phil. For a while there, it was looking pretty darn close, and there was even room for some optimism that that upset that you were talking about on Thursday was going to happen. Yeah, I really thought it was going to happen, Phil. It was uh, just the guy that's at the end there, that back, uh, Andrew Harris, he lived up to his billing. You know, he uh, he got in behind our coverage and caught one to, to go ahead. And then uh, when we struggled at the end through an interception, he uh, he answered with a big 60-yard run for a touchdown. So three uh, three out of four quarters, we, we, we played tough, and uh, just unfortunately we just didn't have enough mustard at the end there. Talk to me about that interception. Your uh, stomach falls through your uh, runners. Yeah, you know we were uh, you know about thirty yards out of field goal range there. We were down by two, and uh, you know if we had to move the ball about thirty more yards, I know that Steve Shaw would have been able to kick that field goal. And, and unfortunately, uh, the play that we'd called, uh, Derek was under a lot of duress, and he was scrambling and just uh, you know trying to make something happen. And uh, you know credit goes to their their corner. He came up, and made a great play, interception, and uh, that was about it. So as that then becomes one of those guys, you, I mean, and, and I, I hurt for you. Uh, I, I know your team loves you, uh, and I really do. I've met some uh, of the young members of your football team, and, uh, and if there is a coach who has earned their respect and uh, their care, uh, I'm sure uh, they were feeling bad and feeling that they had let you down personally. Well, there was a lot of tears after that game. That's there's no doubt about that. And uh, yeah, I think kids emulate their coach, and they see uh, how much I love this game and how passionate I am about this game. And and they they were uh, they were like I said a lot of a lot of sad faces, a lot of heads heads hung. And, and uh, but you know, at the same time, I'm so proud of them for uh, for what they accomplished this year. You know, on paper we weren't. Uh, we weren't up to that level of Nanaimo, and uh, we showed that the, there's an intangible part of this game here. It comes from spirit and uh, you know inspiration and playing with pride and heart. And those guys played well above their 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 level, and uh, they got nothing to be uh, you know, nothing to be ashamed about. It was a, a well fought battle, and uh, you know unfortunately uh, you just didn't come out the way we wanted in the end there. So if we go to that, let's face it, uh, and spending a couple of moments with uh, Pete McCall at uh, 7:55 in your morning, head coach. Okanagan Sun, uh, the Sun <clears throat> lose and uh, and uh, come home, uh, but it, a game that they were in. Uh, talk to me about how then you take uh, that heartbreak, I guess, if you will. Um, how do you package that for a team that you care about and love as much as they love you? Well, you just you got to get back on the saddle and uh, and look to improve. You know, we met, we had our post mortem last night. And I uh, talked to everybody uh, as a group, and I talked to, to everybody basically in, on an individual level, and we just talked about uh, what we can learn from this and gain from this in life, and uh, you know what we got to do to uh, to ensure that uh, we can be on the other end of it next time. And so we're gonna we're gonna go back to work. You know, we we'll take a little bit of time here and spend you know time uh, healing up and uh, you know getting back to family. But, uh, you know, we'll be on the phones recruiting and looking for guys for next year and uh, just continuing to, you know, to build on, you know, this unbelievable organization that we have, just bring it up to the next level and bring in some better guys to, to help, uh, you know, increase our depth and, uh, you know, just make us you know, even more, you know, a better team in the future. So um, how tough uh, does this make recruiting? I mean, let's face it, uh, for so long, the Okanagan Sun were, were the uh, perennial uh, champions. Uh, they were the powerhouse of the BC Junior Football League. Uh, I'm sure that uh, that uh, there there were times when a call from the Okanagan Sun uh, would have uh, have been, uh, you know, like a, a young man's hands at the other end. His hands would have been shaking with excitement that the Okanagan Sun were calling uh, and recruiting. Uh, does uh, does this loss and and the way the season has gone make it tougher for you now to get out and recruit? Well, yeah, you know you have a you know Canadian championship in your back pocket, and yeah, kids are going to come running. But uh, you know what we do have here is we have the best organization in Canada at this level. You know, right down to you know our facilities, our, our, our clubhouse, the, the the fans. You know, it means something to play for the Okanagan Sun and Kelowna. You're you're a celebrity and a, and a community figure. So you know anybody who, who follows football closely at this level knows that this is still a place to play, and 
you know, we always uh, we always compete, you know, and even though, you know, in recent years we haven't, uh, you know, had the bodies that, that Nanaimo has, we're still right in there with them, and, and that just, again, proves that, you know, it's not just the guys out there, it's it's the whole uh, organization in general that makes this, this team what it is. So as, uh, as they emptied out their lockers on, uh, well, yesterday, I guess it would have been, and uh, they go out the doors uh, with uh, duffel bags in hand, uh, high five with the coach and saying, Coach, see you next year. Yeah, I got a lot of hugs last night. There was a lot of love there. And, uh, you yeah, know, this is, uh, like I said before, it's just like manhood training. You know, these guys come in as, a, you know, high school boys, and uh, they go out the door, uh, you know, full, full, full on men. And there's a lot of men that walked out there last night, and I know that they'll go into the world and they'll be, uh, you know, community leaders. And, uh, you know, I'm proud of them. And, uh, it's yeah, it's tough. It's, uh, it's a rite of passage. An interesting thought, rite of passage. Um but I'm sure you're looking at them, and as you say, they're going to step out into the world, and uh, they're uh, better young men than they were when they first arrived in town to uh, to uh, compete for a season with the Okanagans. On most of them, be back. Oh yeah, well you know it's they are stinging, and uh, you know people are you know their heads are still you know reeling from this. So you know, but from those conversations that I had last night, I think there's some unfinished business, and you know, like I said, they they love playing here. I don't think you can. You could uh, have a better football experience, you know, than you do in this town. So, it's uh, you know, looks good. I think they'll be back, and we'll get after it again. Uh, you know, if come spring when the snow is gone, and everybody starts to get a little twitchy, and uh, they start working out in the gym over the winter, and start thinking about the uh, spring and the season to come. Coach McCall, Pete McCall, it's been a pleasure to talk with you uh, on these days on the radio, and uh, may you have a good winter, and we'll look forward to talking to you in the spring. Thank you, Phil. And thanks for all the coverage and uh, you know all this. Uh, you know these these interviews that we have. It's great to get the message out about our team and what we're trying to accomplish here. We're a classy organization. I'm proud of everything we've done, and we thank you, full for your support. Yeah, you take care, sir. Yeah, have a great day. Talking about classy organization, uh, classy young man. Uh, many years, uh, my junior. But I tell you what, uh, when you uh, shake uh, Pete McCall's hand, uh, when you uh, look him in the eye and he looks you straight back, uh, you get some sense of this guy, this uh, measure of the man. And as he said, uh, there uh, there were some tears that were shed and uh, some hugs that were given. And uh, Pete McCall, uh, highly respected uh, by that uh, group of young men that were the Okanagan Sun.